Hey everybody, thanks for watching Retro Tech Toys. In an attempt to put out some more videos than I usually do, I'm going to show some game pickups that we've gotten in the last couple of weeks, because those are pretty fun. Uh, first of all, I got this really cool case at Target. It's uh, for your Switch Lite, and it's uh, Mario Maker. And uh, if you look in here, it's a Mario Maker 2 model. And it's really cool because it's got all this protective stuff. You unfold it and your Switch Lite goes in there. And then it's got a case for all your games and SD cards that pops right out. And it also allows you to set your Switch up like this and play. Although I don't really do that. Uh, it's not really something I'm interested in doing, but you can do it if you want. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, got a really cool case here. And I think I paid about 13 bucks for it. It was on sale. But moving on from that... Uh, I've got a big stack of games here. They're all for the Nintendo Switch because I'm starting to collect for that a bit more now. Um, just to preface, I'll be doing all the game capture on my wife's Switch, which she's got all decked out Animal Crossing style because Animal Crossing is awesome. And uh, just to let you know, since I'm doing all the capture on that, none of my saves will be available, so I'll be starting all these games like new, so my capture footage is going to be like the beginning of each game, but whatever. First up, I've got uh, Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. Uh, these are two games that came out. Uh, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. I got the Eevee version and uh, it's a pretty great game. I enjoy it a lot. I believe this was supposed to be uh, I believe this is a reissue a remake and a remaster of Pokemon Yellow. I don't hold me to that because I did not used to be the biggest Pokemon fan until recently. I did play Pokemon Go quite a bit and I've been playing this one a lot and I really, really, really enjoy it. I've actually been watching uh, some of the show on Netflix as well. Uh, I really dig this. Uh, basically, it's got like a Pokemon Go element. You kind of walk around and find Pokemon and you throw the Pokeballs at them and catch them. So, you know, you got to catch them all. And, uh, and you run into Team Rocket a bunch of times, of course, because what would Pokemon be without that? So it's kind of like an RPG element, and there's also a Pokemon Go type element. And, you know, it's not the most open world game, but, you know, you can walk around and do the story. Or you can walk around and catch Pokemon. Um, it's up to you. It takes about, I've heard, 20 hours to beat or 35 hours if you just want to walk around and catch every single Pokemon. Pretty awesome. One thing I like about the case here is it's got the whole big map in there. That's so awesome. I love that a whole lot. Next up on the list is Rune Factory 4, and um, this is also a reissue according to my wife. It was from the hey. Nintendo 3DS, correct me if I'm wrong. Again, you open it up and you've got all this great artwork inside. That's amazing. I haven't actually started to play this much yet. My wife has been playing it a lot and she really likes it and it looks like something I'd be super interested in. kind of has that JRPG feel, which I like a lot. A, a very cartoony, which I'm super into, and uh, you know, just playing through the f game a little bit right now to capture the footage, uh, it, it's really cool, and I like the way it looks, and I like the way the controls work, and it's a super great game, and I'm going to be looking forward to playing this a lot more uh, coming up. Hey. 
All right, next up, we've got Mario Maker 2. I got so addicted to the very first one, and I saw this on sale at Target, and I had to pick it up. And so far, I've been enjoying it quite a bit. You know, um, it's a great game. Basically, you know, if you're most of you are going to be familiar with Mario Maker, but if you're not, you can design your own levels. You can go online and play other levels that people have designed. Uh, you know, you can choose from the different styles, like Super Mario Brothers, the first one, Mario 3, Super Mario World, uh, Super Mario U, and Super Mario 3D World. So, I've been having a lot of fun with this. I've been designing a lot of crazy levels, which I might share later, uh, once I'm not lazy and I beam my saves over to my wife's Switch console. <laughs> but yeah, we got some Mario Maker 2 going here. Uh, super excited about this. I've been playing the heck out of this one whenever I have time. But I've got to break myself away from Pokemon and another game that I'm going to mention last. But whenever I'm able to, I seriously play the heck out of Mario Maker. And uh, next up, Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Witch. I was really excited to hear that this got a port to the Switch. And uh, I ended up picking it up used, which I got most of these used except for Mario Maker and the other one I'm about to mention. Um, it's very Studio Ghibli style, uh, very cartoony again, which. I'm really, really excited about. I mean, I was playing through this. I haven't played it yet, but my wife swears by it, and she swears by the movie that's on Netflix, so I decided to check it out because I love Studio Ghibli, and this is right up my alley. Uh, I was playing through this for a few minutes to capture the footage, and it felt like I was playing, uh, you know, like a Miyazaki movie or something. So that was super epic, you know. In fact, it's got animation and music, by Studio Ghibli's Joe Hisashi. And, you know, you can explore all these vast areas with hidden secrets. And uh, it's super cool. I'm really excited about giving this a play for a while. And I plan to do that as soon as I have some time. But I saw it used, and it was an excellent price, so I figured I'd pick it up. I'm trying to add to my collection. I'm trying to get away from, like, getting downloads and stuff. I want the physical copy so I can just pick it up and do whatever I want with it. So, this is the child who will save the world. Or so says the crystal ball, your radiance. Hmm. And the dark djinn's power alone will not suffice. I fear not. All right, what is moving it? along. We have Dragon Quest Builders 2, which I cannot say enough about. I'm a massive Dragon Quest fan. As you might have saw in my last video, I played Dragon Quest 8 on the iPad Mini 2. Right on this guy. So, yeah, huge Dragon Quest fan. I've been playing these since the very first one on NES. I'm a huge fan of the Builder series, you know, it kind of takes that Minecraft sandbox thing and adds a Dragon Quest themed story to it. And you can build and you play through the story and like, you know, my wife and I both went through the first one like so fast and we had so much fun with it. And I know I'm a little late to the party here, but I went ahead and picked this one up after just 
putting, you know, we put hundreds and hundreds of hours into the first one. Uh, mostly she did, but, um, <laughs> but, uh, again, you've got that awesome, uh, artwork inside. I just, I love that so much. Oh, it looks like, um, I didn't realize that. It looks like we have an alternate cover. So I wasn't aware of that. So you can take this out and you can have a cartoony cover. Which, gosh, I don't know which one I like better now. This one or that one? I don't know, man. I'm into both of them. Let's see how this, uh... Let's see how this sits with me for a little while. I'm gonna check that out. Dude, I love that. But yeah, those are my game pickups. Um, tomorrow, I'm actually going to Best Buy when it opens, and I'm picking up my pre-order of Animal Crossing New Horizons for the Switch, and I will be capturing a bunch of footage of that, giving my thoughts on it, uh, letting everybody know what I think about it. Might even do a long play and stream it tomorrow. Who knows? But um, those are my pickups, and uh, I'll be back tomorrow or the next day with more videos. And got all these amazing games to keep me busy for months and months and months to come. So, no worry about me having to be quarantined in the house for a while. I've got plenty of stuff to do. <laughs> and I hope you guys do too if you have to stay home. Uh, that's it. That's all I've got for today. I'm going to let my wife's amazing... Animal Crossing Switch, see you out. Thank you for watching Retro Tech Toys. I'll be back very soon. Have a good day.